Hello and welcome to this Husqvarna A100 video. This is a Husqvarna A100 made around 1962. It's the second model in the Husqvarna range. And this will pr probably also apply to the B100, this video. So the coil on this one had died and you're probably thinking, oh, it's no longer available. What are you going to do? I actually, after many, many weeks of researching, measuring, I actually found a coil off of a scooter in, from Germany that does actually fit. So I can't remember what exactly the scooter was but th this is the box of it and this is the number that was on the box. I don't know if it helps anyone in case they are looking for that. No, I don't really run mine to cut wood, so I don't also don't know if there's any RPM restriction in that coil. It's just, I start it once in a while. I sometimes cut a bit of wood, but nothing serious. This is the original coil on it, from it. It's a Stefa Supermatic. And the problem with this is that it had the wire right inside that had come off and it's not a screw in type so we can't do anything with it. The new coil that's on there is a screw in type so the wire can be replaced, it can be changed as well. So that's all there. Uh, basically this is not worth anything anymore, it's just as a memento but basically can't do anything with it and even before the way completely broke up there wasn't much any spark so scrap in any case just thought I, I would show you that this is what I put in it again don't know if it's a restricted coil or not it does work that's all I'm after so Thanks for watching this uh, short video about the coil and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.